Hello everyone, welcome to this part number two of this multi-step registration with compound component. So uh, in the last part, this is uh, how I quit. So uh, we get just uh, this three screen we have put inside the, um, uh, the app.js right there. So this is three step we have created, but nothing crazy happened. It's pretty like, static, nothing happening there so what are we gonna do in this part is we're gonna add the uh, initial value to the resource state so uh, i don't know if you have seen my last video about formic but you can use formic it just for this video i want to use like no dependency at all so that's why i want to just like like f uh, do a fake formic uh, <laughs> if you see what i mean uh, so we're gonna also design the input uh, and that don't gonna look awesome i mean it's not a ui um, uh, it's not a ui uh, uh, tutorial it's more like about learning a new pattern and also we're gonna break up a bit inside component just to make it much more simpler to follow so uh, here what I would like first it's first thing I want to remove this background color on each so it's gonna be easier for my eyes perfect so now what I want it's I want this stuff here to become like a text input so what we can do in react uh, native it's just taking the text input put it right there and now I can put here a placeholder and say username here so now I get this uh, input and I can just uh, uh, write on it I'm gonna do the same for the email and I'm gonna do the same for the avatar so the avatar can be an upload avatar you just like I told you it's just for learning a pattern not for learning to build an application so now what I'm gonna do also, it's uh, I'm gonna just I don't like to have a inline style like this. So what I'm gonna do, it's I'm gonna change the name for this one to be um, uh, root. I'm gonna take this thing to be the style container they have put. So I'm gonna put like this. I'm gonna change that to be root, and I'm gonna say container and put my style like that. So now I can change it everywhere, like that, and like that. So now if I save, nothing has changed, but at least it become a bit more <laughs> better to see. So now what I want, it's I want when I type here, then my wizard receive the, the input value. Because right now, as you can see, because this component, like the text input cannot like register is, um, is value. And why? It's because when I click next, now because of the, return null like that like this component get uh, on mouth so it lose all the steady app so what we can do it's first thing i'm going to create inside the wizard i'm going to create a state called value and this one i'm going to be equal to the this that's props that initial value so for showing you how that's going to work i'm going to debug i'm going to debug the react application react native application and I think I can just yeah. And now my plan is to pass value to this uh, wizard and showing you this value. So here I'm gonna say uh, values and I'm gonna say this that state. So that's gonna be the state of the the um, wizard. So right now the value is just a brand uh, like just a plain uh, object. So what I can do, it's like forming do, we can create an initial value like that. So I'm gonna say a username first, email, and avatar. So now this value, by doing this, now that become my initial value inside my state. So now my wizard save the state. So think about like, it's like a, it's just a parent who keep the state for his children. So what we can do there now, it's create a, Unchange, unchange, uh, uh, unchange value. Sorry, and this one that's going to be about doing the finally the changing the value about what we're going to do. So for this one, because I don't want to create an unchanged value for each of the initial state, and we don't even gonna know the wizard don't know which uh, state you're gonna have. Like you don't know if you build a logging form or a register form, or if you build like a blog post uh, form, something like that. So what I do here is I'm gonna put name and value. And here we're gonna set state. We're gonna get the previous state. And what we're gonna do, 
it's we're gonna just say values we're gonna spread the previous state of the values and we're gonna say with a um, key variable like that so the name and we're gonna just pass the value like that so now what we can do with this unchanged value it's pass it down to the step like that so now the step have the value but now what I want I would like it's I mean here right now I want to change the value but this step right there uh, I have no possibility uh, I have no possible way to make it work the way I want because the thing is my children here I don't know what that's gonna be and that maybe gonna be like I don't know like an image or something like that here it's just because there are text input but I want to let the user we're gonna create an application with my component example to be able to do this kind of stuff so what I can do it's now I can use the prop render, uh, the render props um, pattern. And what I can do here, it's passing the unchanged value like that. And now my app gonna crash. I'm gonna get this that product should win, it's not a function. And why that? It's because this, uh, this thing here, it's not a function. This thing here, it's not a function. And this thing here, it's not a function. How can I make it a function? By building an arrow function like that. So now I'm gonna pass all my wizard step like this. Not curly bracket, you see it's a, uh, it's a um, it's a uh, print test I think you call and uh, this thing I don't need to return so now by doing this map gonna work but now the beauty of it it's now this wizard right there can receive my unchanged value because think about it this thing it's a function and we pass this function uh, we pass this argument so now this unchanged value can be used right there so now I can call unchanged text where here I'm going to have the text and now I can call on change value. I put the name, so username, and I'm going to put the text right there. So now by doing this, if I show you this thing like that, you see right now username, email and avatar have nothing. But now if I say, uh, did that make a mistake? On yeah. change value. Oops. Sorry about that. This is that props that on change value. Okay. Sorry about this. So now if I type username, you see now my wizard received this value. So if you follow the pattern, what happened is here, I call my unchanged value, we'll go to my step, who it's a prop, so it's a callback, and this callback get called here, uh, get called here, we'll call this thing, and we'll change the state of the wizard right there. So now I can use it for every, uh, text input I have so now I can uh, put the same here and just say that's gonna be email and I need to get it from here so unchanged value and here are also unchanged value and now here I can pass the same thing and I'm gonna say avatar so now if I do this username I type if I go next email I type if I go next, avatar I type, so the index is now two, but each of them have a value. But now the thing is, when I go back, I lose the stuff. Why? It's because, like I told you, the component get uh, on mouth, so it lose its, uh, it lose like the, the 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 props it get before and thing like that. And also like the value, it's not bind to the state of the wizard, so we can bind it right there. But now I need to have the value. So what I can do is just passing the value down also. So this that state that value. So now my step here are gonna receive the value. So I can pass it down also. And now my app here are gonna have the value right there. And now the username is value is gonna be called username for the email. That's gonna be email. And for the avatar, that's gonna be avatar. So now by doing this, if I say username, I go next. I get value is not defined, sorry, I forget to pass it there and pass it there. So username, I go next, my email, and uh, avatar. Now if I go back, they keep the state. Uh, so wizard keep the state, they pass down the state in the, the text input again uh, to uh, get uh, bind to the value of this state but now the thing is okay yeah i don't like this re-render stuff like i mean this here that's gonna re-render every time so 
like I told you, we can just create an input.js. So we're gonna break it in part. It's gonna be a per component. The only thing we need is a text input. And inside this one, I'm gonna call this input. Uh, we don't gonna really need state. And the only thing we need is I'm gonna take this text input. I'm gonna put it there. And now I just need to break up this part. So what I can do here, it's now, uh, I'm gonna destructuring the props. And inside the props, I'm gonna have this unchanged value. And also I'm gonna spread all the rest. So I'm gonna want to get the rest. So what I, how I want to do, oops, sorry. So I'm gonna say the placeholder and everything gonna surely came from the rest, but the unchanged text, what I want, it's I'm gonna create here a function called unchanged text. And this one receive text. So that's gonna be the same callback we have there. But now we can call this this that prop that unchanged value. And inside the props, we're gonna pass a name and we're gonna pass a text. And now by doing this, I can just call this function like that. Become much more cleaner this way. So now if you understand what I do, oh, I need to say name also. By doing this dot 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 rest, everything I'm gonna put from the outside, like styling and thing like that, gonna be merged in this text input. But the unchanged text, I want to make sure that that's gonna be this value. And also the name text input don't take name, if I remember, so we don't want. So now I'm gonna just uh, command shift D and I'm gonna uh, copy and paste this line below. And now I can use the input. But now what I can do, it's just saying unchanged value equal this thing. Placeholder, I can keep it like that. Value, I can keep it like that. The only thing I need to put more now is the name like this. The name of the value. So now here I'm gonna just change this change this and change this, clean up this thing, don't need. And again, I'm gonna copy and paste this one down, take avatar here and, oops, command D, paste. Whoa. And now by doing this, same thing is supposed to happen. So now I have my value, I have my value. Now if I go back, they have all keep it the value, but now it become a bit more uh, better to look. So in same time, because we break up, why not break up the step? Because the step it's already there and I don't like to have two components in the same file. So I'm gonna break it like that. I'm gonna just remove the wizard. So now I can replace this thing to be step. The step here don't need the text, like that. And now what I can do is the wizard, I'm gonna remove the step, but I'm gonna import it from the slash step. That input step. Still work, perfect. Now, maybe add some UI. Now you can do whatever you want with this kind of UI. It's, yeah, it's your application. But what we can do now, it's maybe uh, the step here, I'm gonna add the style sheet. And what I want is this two button to be at the bottom, uh, one in the left and the other one in the right. So I'm gonna create here um, some UI, some, uh, not UI, but some uh, the, yeah UI styling. So I'm gonna put the style root for here, for the top. And now what I'm gonna call, it's I'm gonna create a button wrapper. And this button wrapper is gonna be this view right there. I'm gonna create. So this view right there, gonna have the style button wrapper we're just gonna create. So right now, this button wrapper is right there, okay? So if you see background color, red, and now we see it's like that. So if we change the flex direction, they're gonna be left and right each. And now what I want to do also, it's having a little height, so maybe like 80. I want the text to be in the middle to the top to the bottom. So I'm gonna say align center. And now for the justify contain, because I don't want them to touch each side, I'm gonna just say space around. So they're gonna have the same space here, 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 and here. And now I can remove my background color. So now it looks a bit more like you can build with a step like that. And for the input, nothing crazy. I didn't put a lot of UI. You just, uh, uh, for the input, what I've done, it's kind of <laughs> really simple. So uh, don't judge me on this UI. 
I'm not a designer. I can design any UI you give, but I cannot create in my mind. So, uh, background color for the text input, we're gonna put uh, F8, F9, F4. No, I think it's F4, yeah. F4, F9, F4. Width, we're gonna put a width of 90%. So now I can pass the style like that. And now if you see, uh, we get this little thing. I'm gonna put a height of 45 so now you get the good eye but now it touch the side so I want to add some padding horizontal to get left and right I'm gonna add maybe 16 with a G and maybe like border radius or something like that like a six something nothing more so now like you see you get uh, this kind of multi-step here it's not done I mean I have another video where we're gonna break it much more in part like here we copy and paste too much code and I don't like it so I'm gonna show you a way where you can break this part and make it much more simpler uh, for your um, like it don't gonna looks like this copy and pasting code if you were mm. and uh, yeah and we're gonna make use of what we have already done like the uh, clone element or create element or whatever you want so this is what we're gonna do in the next part and also we're gonna break other part and also what I want it's when we get to the last one here I want to show a submit button and we can fake a, a like a backend call and also I want to make sure that if my stuff here I have nothing I don't want to be able to get the next so this is what we're gonna do in the third part so I hope you enjoyed this one I hope you learned something let me know in the comment and we talk in the next part bye everyone